Welcome to Good Mythical More. Let's talk dad jokes, shall we? But first, quick random disturbing fact for you. 15% of the air you breathe in a New York City subway system is dead human skin. Well, uh, at least it's not living human skin. A biologists like from the University of Colorado analyzed air samples taken from several New York City subway platforms and found that about 15% of it consisted of skin. That's a lot. Most of it from heels and heads of riders. Yeah, that's, that's gross. I mean, Ugh! I'm always struck with the scent of the New York City subway. Well, listen, it's not just the subway. So I, I was reading something recently and like we've got a, a big bookshelf in the, in the living room and we occasionally clean the top of it, but you can only see it from like one spot when you're upstairs looking down on it. Okay. And dust in your house is mostly dead human skin cells from the people who live in the house. Like that's why it accumulates so much. Okay. Like, and so when you just like take your finger and run it over a dusty shelf, that's dead person that's on your finger. Yeah, but it's your people, and that's different than the subway. It's still nasty. These are also our people, it's mythical disturbing. crew members. Um, they all have dads, we have them on the line. David, you're in the room. David, what is your dad's first name? Because I wanna know their first names because we're gonna match their signature dad joke to them, but we need a little information. Uh, my dad's first name is Russell. Russell, Russell. That's, a, uh, that's a good dad name. Hey, Russell. Kevin. Hey, Link. What's your dad's first name? His name is John. John. John Kostelnik. That's right. John. John. Emily, you there? Yep. And your daddy? Mike. 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 All right. Russell These are some John? good dad Mike. names. I need to be writing this down. I can't. Are you really going to write I got it. This? Annalise? My dad's also named John. Oh, oh, gosh. Two Johns. With an H. Russell, John, Mike, John. Kevin, does your John have an H? He does, yes. Okay, most okay. do. Hey, don't be don't be ashamed. I believe about 84% of Johns have an H. And V? Yes, my dad's name is Byron. 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 Yeah, I bet I Byron's got a Byron's. good dad joke. <laughs> All right, now, because I out-manipulated my dad, um, yeah. before we get into this game and getting to know our crew members' dads, I need to get some dash darn peace and quiet. I knew when you said that about South Carolina, I was like, yeah, he loves South Carolina. <laughs> like he, they go there all the time. I was like, oh man, he's not gonna wanna talk trash about this. I, I thought it, he would talk trash, but he, cause I, I thought that would be funny, but uh, I didn't know that. He loves it, man. All right, so give him, give him the opposite of peace and quiet. You know what the most okay. annoying thing about that was? It's Nothing. just picturing the guy making the vomit noise and knowing that it was an act. It, that made me- Vomit noise? It made me want to punch that guy. All right, here's the first one. My dad loves saying this. I'm the anchor in my family, and I know that's true because often the rest of the family would love to pick me up and throw me overboard. <laughs> he will always deliver it, no matter if the people listening have heard it before or not. Right. Yep. Yeah, that's a dad joke with the classic dad smirk at the end. You know the one. All right, so. Um, I feel like this might be a dad that lives uh, mm. in a coastal city. Okay. okay. I don't know who's from a coastal coastal place. Uh, Annalise, where are you from? I'm from the South Bay in Southern California, around here. The South Bay? That's what they call like the Torrance, Rondo Beach, Around there. Okay, so, uh, so there is a this bay. Is a, this is a dad familiar with nautical terms like okay. anchor. You know what? Let's just start there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. only need a little bit to go off of. Want to read this one? Whenever I say or do something my dad thinks is dumb, he'll say, "Stop using your head as only a hat rack." Oh, okay. Okay. Does this need to be someone who we've seen wearing lots of hats? Probably uh, not. Uh, well. I do think that if you got a hat on, this joke hits harder. Mm -hmm. This is a dad who's like in charge, kind of a judgy dad. 
So, I, you know, we want a crew member that, like, is really is maybe a either rebellious or could be a rule follower, like on the extremes, because a dad who's expressing disdain through the dad joke. Well, David Hill is wearing a hat in this picture, and he's wearing a hat right there. Okay. I mean, you know what? David Hill has a hat on most of the time that I see him, he's a hat man. Is your dad a judge? No, he's a doctor. He's a doctor. Oh, yeah, but okay. he's doctor, super high expectations come with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yep. yeah, this is your dad all yeah. day, David. Yeah. Okay. My dad likes to say, is that the costume we're going with? Every time he sees my outfit for the day. Ah. Uh, hmm. Okay, again, so, not not being sexist to you, but this feels like the kind of thing that a dad would say to a daughter. Mhm. Mm a little more critical of the of the outfit. Uh is that the costume we're going with today? Uh, Emily um Emily, I you know, you've got a yeah, shoe yeah. thing. Like whenever we we see you like I always look at your shoes because you're always going to have some interesting shoe <laughs> choice. What was that shoe she had on the other day? Uh, she had a, she's got, you've got some Grinch. Yeah, Grinch Reeboks. Grinch Reebok Reeboks. pumps. So yeah. I think, like, literally, sometimes you, you go full costume with your shoes. Yeah, this feels. <laughs> yeah, I think so. That's true. Yeah, this feels kind of Emily to me. Uh, so I think your dad might be saying this, and it's not sarcastic at all. Right, yeah, and you're like, yes, it is the costume we're going with today. You know, you've got, you know, maybe you were a theater kid. I don't know. You're definitely a performer. Well, I think that that's been made very clear. Okay. Uh, uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. My entire life, anytime I have ever asked my dad more than one question in a conversation, rather than answering me, rather than answering me, he'll say, "Are you writing a book?" To which I unenthusiastically respond, "Yes, Dad, I'm writing a book." And then he says. Then why don't you kiss my ass and make it a love story? <laughs> wow! Wow! What? Are you so you're t okay? So somebody, <laughs> somebody's dad has got something to hide because there's a lot of defensiveness in this. So like, can't, you you can't ask him a, a question. I thought it turned into an ask. I don't know if this is kissing. about defensiveness primarily as I much as this is about wanting. This is about really having a good setup and a really good punchline. I mean, in a punchline that hits when you throw in the kiss my ass in there. So really this is who is the most inquisitive on our crew? Who would badger their dad with questions to the point where there, there's such a snarky response? Uh, I mean, they're all smart enough to not ask us questions. They know we don't, we don't have the answers. And you're writing a book. Asking questions. I mean, I don't know, you, you got like, Kevin, tell us, tell us something about your dad. Just anything doesn't matter. Just something, something about your dad that is not related in any way to any of these dad jokes. Um, a quirk, a hobby, profession. Well, you remember the the penis fairy? Yeah, your dad. Oh, that was strange. my dad. Right. Yep. Yep. He he lied to you, and said, "What? I can't." He said if you pull down your pants in public, the penis fairy will come and cut your penis off. Right, right Does that right. help you with this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, no, yeah, yeah. It, I do remember it, it completely It helps now. because then you wrote a book about the penis fairy and it's a bestseller. I mean, that is the type of thing that, if you're gonna say that, you're gonna say this. Yeah, right, yeah. I think this is Kevin. This is, Kiss my this ass is John, John with an story. H. All right. Right now, V, this one's coming at you. Unless you can tell me something about your dad that makes me think it's not applicable okay okay are you in a car i am sitting in the car in the parking lot yes <laughs> okay. so she's, she's as long as you're here. not moving right <laughs> no i'm not you got somewhere to be apparently uh my mom would sometimes ask my dad to help with the trash while he was sitting in front of the tv my dad would say not now i'm looking at the television my mom would reply but the television is off. <laughs> and dad would say, well, I'm still looking at it. Well, hey, this one's got, <laughs> this one's got a little bit this of a back and sitcom forth Sitcom banter well. here. This has got a back and, yeah, this has got an Archie Bunker sort I'm of I'm looking at the it. television, but the television's off. Well, I'm still looking at it. Uh, I mean, I don't know. V, tell, give me uh, uh, some, some, what's, something about your dad. What's your dad's favorite gonna, television that's show? That's gonna take us off the trail. Yeah, what's your dad's favorite TV show? Oh man, um, he really likes The Wire. 
I don't know if you guys have seen that. Oh, yeah. He likes yeah. anything with, like, problem solving. He's a retired police officer, so he loves crime and mystery, so... Okay. Uh, so he's like a he's like a grizzled cop who just stares at the television that's off. <laughs> thinking, exactly. About, thinking about his long career. Okay, so uh, we might need to switch these around. So we've got the the grizzled officer of the law. Um, uh, this could is that the costume we're going with? I, I, that's got to stay with Emily. I think that's got to stay with Kevin. Like the hat rack. I don't know. I kind of feel like. I kind of feel like this is good. I feel like what we did is good. Okay, let's stick with these. Uh, David Hill, starting with you. Um, did Be your dad before before we get that answer? Oh I yeah. Just, I just want. Are you going to promote you. something? I want to remind you because time is running running yep. running out on you being able to get the Rhett and Link sing Lionel vinyl. Uh, you need to sign up for Mythical Society third degree membership quarterly or annual by June thirtieth in order to receive this thing. Go over to mythicalsociety.com. For mm. details, what is, there it right is. There? Okay. We right, David? What's the line? Say it again. Eh, you're wrong. Oh, he gave us the buzzer. Stop using your head as only a hat rack. I think that's V. I think I think we switched that to the grizzled police officer. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Um, so, so we're putting you with TV, looking at the TV. You're correct. Hey, hey all right. Hey, hey, hey. Good we made switch. The switch. All right. So you would your dad actually watch? A television that's off, or is that just a saying to not have to like do things? I've seen him do it a few times, but my mom over like over the past couple past couple of years, he yeah. says he does it frequently every now and then. He spaces it out. But he does watch an off television. As a joke. As a joke, yeah. Just to get out of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> just so he can say that line. Yeah. Okay. I'm looking at the television. This is the setup for my joke. Hope you hope you hope you follow. Hope you try to get me to do something. <laughs> okay, uh, Kevin. What about John? Is is is? Uh, are you writing a book? That's him. Yeah. Yeah. Penis John. <laughs> he he. I told him we were doing this episode, and he said when it's over to call him and let him know if anybody laughed at his joke. I gotta say, it's a good joke. I think this joke got the most laughs of any of these jokes. Uh, well, he is going to be very happy to hear that. It is, sounds like your dad's got more than one joke up his sleeve. He does, but he's been saying them his entire life, and he always thinks they're funny. <laughs> he's just, he's ready for them. Okay. Always. All right, Emily, we feel so confident about this. Is that the costume we're going with today, young lady? You are correct. Yeah. That is. <laughs> hey, this was not easy. We're done good. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm I'm impressed. You guys, I almost submitted one where if I were hot rollers in my hair, my dad asked me how many stations it picks up. <laughs> okay. he's, got his, he's got his go to. That would have felt too obvious, but it seems like y'all y'all know the deal. We got so. your number. We got it. Um, <laughs> what percentage of the time that he says that is he critiquing your outfit versus um, a costume that you're actually wearing? Oh no, he just says that like anytime I dress up, like if I had a date in high school, he yeah. just said that to kind of do some little jokey ribbing. He didn't actually mean it as a critique. He would just be like, oh, so this is the costume we're going with, huh? As if to say, you're really dressing up for this boy. Did you ever <laughs> develop um, a comeback to that if, he's, if he said it all the time? Never, I'm not good at comebacks. <laughs> Even if you see him coming, by the way. Like, <laughs> yeah, this is much. the 40th I mean, time. <laughs> Next time he says this. I usually think of them about uh, 10 minutes later. Is that the costume you're going with today? That's what you say back. <laughs> Yet you're yeah, a writer on this show, so. <laughs> um, okay, Annalise, anchor. I'm the anchor in the family, and I know that's true because often the rest of my family would love to pick me up and throw me overboard. Nautical themes. Into the bay. Yeah. Yeah, you guys crushed it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're dads ourselves. Your yeah. your dad so, radar. D um, does your dad own a boat? No boats, but I was named after a boat. Annalise is a boat. Yeah, the, the Annalise. So actually, if we can put it out there that everyone should keep an eye out, I'm trying to reconnect with it. It's lost. I've just my mom saw it before I was born, and that was my namesake. But I've never found it. This is how big is this boat? I don't know. Well, well this is gonna be difficult. <laughs> it's, it's called the Annalise. 
Are you saying that they they owned a boat or saw a boat in passing that set it on the side and were like, that'd be a good name for a daughter? Yeah, that one. Oh, they okay. So they yeah. just saw a boat that was like pulled into a harbor. Um, last scene, Catalina Island. We got that. Okay, Catalina Island. Okay. So you know, a, a sailboat or a, a yacht of some sort. Annalise. Mm -hmm. PSA: If you uh, are out there, uh, on this your is not a promotion on your boat. <laughs> Call the Annalise, and you were in Catalina Island approximately how many years ago? Twenty-five years ago. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight years ago. Yeah. Um, please reach out to Annalise. That'd be great. Thank you she guys. needs closure, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> so V, we are after making a switch uh, with David Hill. We're correct about your 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 grizzled uh, crime-fighting fathers. Stop using your head as only a hat rack zinger. Yes, he used to tell me that after I had a really bad basketball game and I did something really stupid during the play, then he would pull me to the side and be like, stop using your head, it's only a hat rack. Right. I'm like, what? We don't even wear hats in basketball. <laughs> like, this, Dad, this is a good baseball yeah. uh, pun, but... Stop using a pun that is not visually accurate. Right. Dad. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Was it effective? Was this an effective way to get you to think? Um, no. But <laughs> right. It usually is. I found it very funny, and you know, I, I had to go back and ask him what the full quote was because apparently I never actually listened to what he was saying when he was yelling at me. My dad would just yell during the game from the stands. Yeah, uh, he would. And I and, and I I would listen and. My coach would be like during halftime, be like, "You just listen to me, not your dad," because he would be coaching. Specific. Yeah, he was very he specific. Would be like, you got to do this. Blah, blah. And it would be like a timeout, and it would be it get very quiet, and it's just like the dad is instructing his son right now, and his son is like, "That's right, I'm not listening. Timeout, but I'm listening to you." You know what, guys? Thanks for sharing a little bit of your dads with us. It gives me hope as a father that uh, you know if our kids turn out any. Anywhere as good as any of you guys, Oof, you know, we'd be so proud of them. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I completely yeah. agree with that. To get the Rhett and Link Sing Lionel vinyl release, join third degree quarterly or annual by June 30th. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.